Hello Internet, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we are bringing you a full review of Taylor's 522 CE 12 fret. This is actually one of my favorite guitars in Taylor's lineup. Um, I call it basically the sweetheart because it's a sweetheart of a guitar. The guitar is in the 500 series. It is an all mahogany and it's genuine Honduran mahogany top back and sides. So it's what we might affectionately call an all hog guitar. Um, it features a grand concert body. So it's a, the smallest body shape in Taylor's full size catalog. Um, it is a 12 fret and it's short scale. And all of that, the body shape, the scale length, the type of neck, and the tone would use contribute to the wonderful tone that this guitar has. So we'll go over the specs in a bit, but let me give, kind of give you an overview of what this guitar basically represents. Because it's more than the sum of its parts, okay? When you look at something solely on specs and you don't understand how the culmination of those specs go together, you can miss really what's at work here. And this guitar really is a beautiful sweetheart work of an art. Um, so what you get with this guitar is an aesthetic appeal in a modern guitar. So Taylor is not known as a vintage brand, right? I mean, they, they came out in the 70s, so they're really not that old of a brand. What they're known for is cutting edge innovation, modern design, and always pushing the edge to make a better guitar each and every time. But they've taken that recipe and they've applied it into this package. And what it gives you is that crisp, articulate Taylor sound, but with really a vintage aesthetic and a bluesy tone. So when you're dealing with a small body guitar, a grand concert specifically, you have a small body, sh uh, sh body size, right, to the shape, and a small top. That top responds really rapidly uh, with a light touch because there's less mass for the strings to vibrate, to move. Um, but it also isn't going to be the loudest design out there. So if you have a light touch, you like to finger pick or lightly strum, this guitar is designed for that. And because it's smaller size, is a very intimate guitar. You can kind of sit on the couch and play with it uh, like you would maybe like a GS Mini or something, but it's a full size guitar. It's a shorter scale, which is standard on Grand Concerts and Taylor's lineup. Rather than a 25 and a half inch, it's more like 24 and three quarters inch roughly. And it features a 12 fret neck. Now that shorter scale on its own is going to give you a warm sound. We've done videos talking about the benefits of a short scale and a long scale and what changes tonally, whether it's an acoustic or electric guitar. So go look at that video. But with a shorter scale, you're getting a warmer sound. With a 12 fret, you're also getting a warmer sound. What a 12 fret neck does is it keeps the scale length the same, but it moves the location of the bridge down on the top so that it's more kind of in the center of this area, driving the top a little bit more, giving you a more open played in sound out of the guitar. And then because it's all mahogany, mahogany is known for a very rich, warm, there's that word again, mid range. Okay, and a natural compression. And so it's compressing the dynamics that you're playing with. Um, and there's not as much bass and there's not as much treble. The tone is right here in the middle and the dynamics, the string volume, is right here in the middle as well. So you've got this nice compression and in the electric world, it's what we would want out of a really good tube amp, that kind of squishiness that you get when you drive a tube amp. This top will do that, along with the back and sides, giving you that warm mid-range, and as you dig into it, it compresses and gives you kind of like this squishy pop sound, which is really nice, particularly for blues. And so I really like an all mahogany guitar when I'm playing something that is kind of bluesy, delta bluesy type stuff, because it has that rounded sound. The aesthetics on this, also lent themselves to that as it happens. So uh, nice stain with a edge burst on the mahogany top back and sides, ivoryed uh, and ebony bind or tortoiseshell binding around the rosette and around the, um, the binding on the body. These beautiful ivoryed inlays, um, century inlays on the neck and a slotted headstock with ivoryed buttons. It's a modern vintage guitar is kind of the best way to put it. And like I said, it, it excels at a light touch and it's going to reward you as you dig into it with a nice compressed sound. So that's what you're gonna get out of this 522. 
And it's really one of my favorites, particularly for that nuanced style of playing. So we're going to let you hear it for yourself, get an idea of what we're talking about. If you want any more information about this guitar, check out our website. Hey, thanks so much for watching the videos we put out on YouTube. We make these with the goal of helping you find the right instrument to suit your needs, to find the perfect fit so that you find the right guitar and bring many years of joy. We believe strongly that if you play a note, it can change your life. But if you're shopping for a guitar right now, you may be overwhelmed by the amount of choices that are available. Should you get an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar, a classical guitar? Which features matter? price points, things like that. It can be overwhelming. And for that reason, I've written a guitar buyer's guide called Don't Get a Good Deal on the Wrong Guitar. Follow the link below to download this very comprehensive guide that will talk about every aspect that you should be paying attention to when it comes to purchasing a new guitar. If you ever have questions or need help, go to our website, alamomusic.com. We're here to help. Thanks. Mm -hmm.